Hey guys, it's Cheryl Spangler and I wanted to walk through a really quick step-by-step uh, -step on how to buy MetaHero, a coin with the ticker symbol, with the ticker symbol hero. So if you go to CoinMarketCap, you can see, you can basically go to the search bar and you could type Meta, oops, Hero. And you'll see it's represented by Hero. And then when you go there, I'm basically looking for two things. What is the current price? And which, which blockchain is it on and how do I buy it? So this is what I first do when someone says, oh, tell me about a coin. I go look at it, research it, whatever. This is not financial advice. I'm just simply showing you how to purchase it if you want to. So MetaHero, one of the things that I'm wanting to, one, I'm just wanting to buy a small bit. And second, I'm actually going to be using MetaHero, uh, the technology to basically make myself uh, a virtual image of myself, like a hologram, inside my own um, OVR land. And so when I create my augmented reality experience, I want you to see me inside it. So I'm going to be using this full body scan technology to create myself as an image, a uh, character. And so anyway, want to go here and it is on Binance Smart Chain. If you've never used that, that's something new for you. If you're used to just buying on Ethereum, but you want to know that the contract address is accurate. So this is where I would just copy the contract address just in case so I can always have it uh, um, on my clipboard. But anyway, I want to go to market and I want to see where can I buy it. And so since I have an account on KuCoin, that's where I'm going to do my how-to video. And I see that I'm going to have to purchase, I'm either going to find out from KuCoin that I can either buy it direct or I'm going to have to buy USDT first and trade it for Hero. And let's go so we don't waste time so the price doesn't go up. So I'm going to go to KuCoin and hopefully you've already created an account on KuCoin else you'll have to probably watch another video. And... The second thing is you need to do your KYC, which is know your customer, which is represent represents KuCoin looking at your driver's license, doing validation, verification on who you are, and giving you authorization to buy. And then if you want to just buy something, you would actually just click on assets. So what I found out when I went to KuCoin before I started recording is that you cannot buy Hero directly. So you are going to need to buy on KuCoin USDT first, which I just finished doing. And so to do that, you would click on assets and you would click on buy crypto. And you would say, I want to, because you're, because what you're doing right now is first you're buying USDT and then you're going to trade it. So you would say, oh, I want to spend $100 of my US dollar, and I want to buy USDT, and you know, whether I want to use Banksa, which is what I use, or Simplex, this is how many I will get if I spend $100, I'll get eight, uh, 86 USDT, and so then you go ahead and confirm it and you buy it, but I've already done that. So now let's go ahead and click on assets, and my goal right now is to see the USDT in my account so I can do the trade to hero now sometimes kucoin takes a bit of time from the time you buy it to the time it actually populates into your account i did see the notification that the the buying the buy was initiated then i got the kucoin um comment email saying it was purchased and the coins are on their way to you and so now it's just a matter of clicking on main account, okay, where coins that you purchase first show up. Now I'm going to say hide small balances because I want to see what I have purchased that has a balance, right? I don't want to see every single coin that exists on KuCoin that is at zero that I own zero. I want to see what I own. So... Still says I own zero because it is taking a while from the time of purchase, then, then KuCoin authorizes the purchase, and then they purchase the coins. 
because obviously this is a central exchange. And then they send it to your wallet, which would show up here in my main account. Just for those people that um, always get on my YouTube and basically say, hey, I bought this coin and it hasn't showed up in my account yet. What do I do? What happened? Did, it, did I lose it? I just want to show you that you do get three emails from, in my case, I'm using Banksa. If you're using Simplex, then you would get three emails from Simplex. And the first email when the time of purchase for the USDT, or you could call it Tether, says, thank you for using KuCoin and Banksa. The payment for order blank has been received and is in progress. That's just email number one. So don't freak out. If you haven't gotten any other emails, it is not complete. Email number two, your order transfer has started. The cryptocurrency transfer for order number blank has been initiated and is now awaiting reconciliation, blah, 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 from blockchain. Uh, so I purchased $350 worth of Tether, which is really only going to give me 311 Tether. And that is number two. And then you're going to get a third email. So if you haven't got the third email, just wait. And that says your Tether order blank has been fulfilled. And then it even says there are a few things that could potentially delay your order, namely the network congestion, gas fees, anything that's beyond their control, basically. And since I don't get any other emails, it's just a waiting game. And so let me go back here a second. So let me do a reload. Oh, it just came in actually. It says you have received 311 Tether. So this is excellent. I can go ahead and do this while I'm recording. So it basically shows that I go to main account. Okay, and it so shows USDT Tether 311. And I want to I want to buy Hero. So I'm going to transfer all of my tether. So click on it, all of my tether from the main account to the trading account. And I'm going to confirm. All you're doing is you're moving it from the original purchased main account to your trading account. And then you're going to go up here to this trading account, click on trading account. And you're going to see that the tether moved over. You're going to type in under trading account, you're going to type the word hero and click trade. And it's only one option here, and that is to trade USDT for hero. So you're going to click hero USDT trading pair. Wait for it. This is just like uh, telling what, what you can do, X that or that. And in my case, I can't do anything until I put in, in the very beginning when you create your account, you have a trading passcode that you identify. And I'm gonna put that in. And now it allows you to see kind of like what you can do down here. And you can see I have the asset of 312.11 US dollars worth of Tether. And I want to buy Euro. Best market price, 100%. And what I just did was I said, whatever the best market price is at this moment, I want to buy 100% of my USDT. I want to use 100% of my USDT. And I want to buy Hero. So all I was doing was I bought Tether. I basically went in here and said, 
market price. I'm not going to set a limit. I'm not doing a stop limit. I'm just doing a simple market purchase, spot purchase. And I choose 100% of what I owned. And I said by hero. And let me go over here to, which you can see right here, it already changed from USDT to hero. I basically ended up spending $311 to buy 1,359 hero at, I think, 22 cents. But I can go over here to trade history. And you can see that I did a trade, a market order at 22 cents, 1,359 hero, cost me 311 tether. And that's, and it was just like the fee. So that's basically it. Now, like I always do, I like to move things off KuCoin onto a hardware wallet and let it sit. And so that is my next thing that I'm going to do, but I just wanted to walk through this real quick on how to purchase the Hero token using a trading pair. The sun is shining, I knew it would. The world's a playground, I'm in the clouds. Show you what it's all about. Check it out.